The Audi Q7 and Q8 stand out as two of the most well-rounded premium midsize crossover SUVs on the market. The key distinction between the two lies in their seating capacity and design. The Q7 features three rows, accommodating up to eight passengers, making it an ideal family vehicle, while the Q8 seats five and boasts a sportier, coupe-like silhouette, catering more to driver enjoyment in everyday life. This difference is mirrored in their standard engines. The Q7 comes equipped with a more restrained turbocharged four-cylinder, with an option to upgrade, whereas the Q8 starts off with a more powerful turbo V6. Both models, however, embody Audi's commitment to Vorsprung Durchtechnik, or advancement through technology, offering upscale features and performance. As we move into 2025, the Q7 sees a more significant update compared to the Q8, which underwent a facelift in 2024 and thus receives only a few new interior enhancements. Audi invited us to Utah to test drive the Q7, Q8, and their sportier counterparts, the SQ7 and SQ8, back to back. This experience highlighted each model's unique strengths. Exterior. Familiar yet distinct. The 2025 Audi Q8 maintains its refreshed 2024 look with some added interior features, while the Q7 benefits from new front and rear fascias and a redesigned front spoiler, aligning it with Audi's latest design language. The Q7 is longer, wider, and taller, reflecting its more traditional SUV shape, while the Q8's sportier appeal is underscored by its sloping, coupe-like roofline. Additionally, the Q7 comes standard with 19-inch wheels, whereas the Q8 rides on 22-inch wheels, with the option to upgrade to even larger sizes, up to 23 inches for the Q8. The refreshed models feature subtle yet effective enhancements, including new bumpers, colors, wheel designs, badges, and diffusers. When viewed side by side, the Q8 stands out with its more appealing, lower-slung appearance, especially when equipped with 23-inch wheels. Audi also cleverly nods to the iconic 1980s Audi Quattro Coupe through the Q8's body lines. The Q7, however, is far from plain. Its new fascius elevated sophistication, particularly in the prestige trim, which now includes Audi's advanced HD matrix design LED headlights with laser light technology. Notably, the HD matrix design LED headlights have a built-in capability that allows the LEDs to remain in the high beam setting while adjusting specific pixels to prevent blinding oncoming traffic. Unfortunately, due to outdated US regulations, this feature is currently locked. However, Audi is prepared to activate the technology as soon as the laws are updated. Interior, showcasing quality. For the 2025 model year, the Q8 receives minor interior updates, such as the LED interior lighting package becoming standard across all trims, passenger seat memory and massage functions standard in the prestige trim, and red stitching on the seats in the sport package. However, we recommend skipping the sport package, as its benefits are purely cosmetic. Instead, we suggest opting for the more refined and comfortable choices. Our test vehicles were all high-end trims but the interior that impressed us most featured Saiga beige leather with open pore wood inlays. The seats are exceptionally supportive, making long journeys comfortable. While the front seats are only 8-way adjustable instead of the usual 10, we found them more than sufficient for achieving an ideal driving position. The Q8 also offers ample rear seat space for tall adults, though legroom decreases by about 3 inches in the Q7, a noticeable difference for this 6-foot-1 rider. The third row in the Q7 is tight and not ideal for regular use, but it can accommodate a couple of extra kids in a pinch. Under the hood, opt for the V6. The Q7's turbocharged four-cylinder engine delivers a respectable 261 horsepower, providing sufficient torque to move its substantial weight. However, in a premium luxury vehicle, power should feel effortless. That's why the Q7 offers an upgrade to the 55 TFSI V6 engine, which comes standard in the Q8. This V6 engine produces 335 horsepower and 369 lbft of torque, perfectly balancing performance with the vehicle's size and weight. Audi claims the Q8, despite being the heavier of the two, can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.5 seconds. Paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, this engine ensures smooth, swift acceleration that lives up to Audi's reputation. Merging onto a fast-moving highway or passing slower traffic on a back road is a breeze, 
In normal mode, there is a slight delay between pressing the accelerator and feeling the surge of power, but switching to dynamic mode keeps the engine revved and ready for quick responses. As expected from Audi, all-wheel drive is standard, utilizing the brand's meticulously engineered system. Infotainment, feature-packed and intuitive. Audi's infotainment systems are known for being feature-rich, and the Q7 and Q8 are no exceptions. The driver is greeted by a large, detailed gauge display, while the center console houses two touchscreens, the upper one for general infotainment and the lower one for climate controls. Audi's MMI system in both models is sharp, responsive, and intuitively designed for easy navigation of deeper settings. Our test vehicles included Audi Navigation Plus, which is decent but not outstanding, much like other OEM navigation systems. Fortunately, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, ensuring seamless smartphone integration. Something Audi was keen to tell us about is a new feature it calls Audi Themes. For $12.99, you can download a pretty desktop picture, mostly hidden behind the large icons on the screen, that combines with the interior lighting to create the theme. We're not going to waste too much time on detailing it here. Suffice it to say that we suspect it won't be something many people bother with, and the Master League Soccer MLS, tie-in is pretty weak. A high point on the options menu is the Bang and Olufsen advanced sound system with 3D sound. We wouldn't file it as a highly accurate system, but we will describe it as one of the most distinctively fun premium systems we've come across. The sound is big and bombastic, the separation of instruments than vocals is excellent, and the bass is beautifully tuned. It's easily one of the best OEM sound systems on the market. On the road, a distinctive blend. The overall experience of driving the Q7 and Q8 is in how the package comes together. The smooth engine complements the supple ride. It's worth noting that all the vehicles we drove were equipped with adaptive air suspension, which combines nicely with the cabin's luxurious refinement. Again, remember we were driving top trim and well-optioned models, including the Prestige package and its dual-pane acoustic glass. We hope to drive a model without the adaptive air suspension at some point for comparison, but the optional system is excellent. Audi's suspension setups are some of the best in the business, in our opinion. It soaks up bumps beautifully, and with the cabin's sound dampening in effect, it makes it easy to find yourself thinking you're meeting the speed limit but are, in fact, some miles per hour over. While these are not the sporty models, the Q7 and Q8 level winding road and show off with impressive chassis control and nicely weighted steering. Dynamic mode gives the crossovers a bit of a bite, improving throttle response and putting, 